as you saw, I sold my uh, commercial industrial lamp post light, <laughs> solar powered. It's really cool. I just uh, really have no place to put it in my house. You know what I mean? You need like a bigger property or something that has uh, dim lighting. I've got ample lighting pretty much everywhere around my house, so uh, I couldn't use it. So anyway, I sold it. Uh, 150 bucks. That's a good deal for him. It's a good deal for me, given that I didn't pay for it. <laughs> I'm off to sell my ugly mower. I have it listed for 50 bucks. It runs, starts, mows, and the self-propulsion works. But it's ugly. Ugly. With them, okay, uh, these are actually the third people that wanted the ugly mower. The other two, re ready to meet and everything, just never confirmed that they were gonna come today, you know, flakes. So uh, while they did show up eventually, they were like 35, 40 minutes late, you know what I mean? Absolutely no gauge of what time it was, you know what I'm saying? They said three o'clock. I was like, okay, it's it's almost three. Are you on your way? She's like, oh, I'm leaving soon. If you're leaving soon, isn't that 3.30 then? She's like, yeah, 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 3.30. I'm like, well, what if I already went there? You know what I mean? And I'm just gonna wait there for another 30 minutes, you know? And then when 3.30 runs, uh, comes about, right? She says, oh, I'm about halfway there. I'm like, you know, some people have absolutely no gauge of time or don't want to, you know what I mean? Just very irresponsible. But when they came, they were very nice. You know what I mean? So how do I, how do I stay pissed at them? You know what I mean? <laughs> and in the end, I did get rid of that piece of junk for $50. I mean, granted it started, ran, mowed, and has a big bag and uh, silk propulsion works. It was ugly, man. That thing was like, I mean, I, if anything I was gonna throw out on the street, I would probably throw that on the street. You know what I mean? But. Uh, Whatever, I went through a song and dance today to get that thing sold, but whatever, I sold it for 50 bucks. 50 bucks for that piece of junk, can you believe that? But they were happy with it, so I guess that's all that matters is that they're happy with it, and I am more than satisfied with getting 50 bucks for that piece of garbage. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Mowers. Yes, I know, I'm acting like I'm starting a whole new video, but this is still part of my three-day video that I'm slowly making for y'all. Uh, reason why it's taken so long is because uh, I'm kind of taking it easy these days. I'm doing a little bit each day. So instead of doing a video a day, <laughs> I'm doing like a video every three days. So this is a, a put together video for you guys uh, in a span of three days. Uh, yesterday I actually went with my son to the park and we went to <laughs> shag some balls. So I'm like sore all over. I haven't shagged balls in like a a year you know with him you know uh, anyway so I decided I was gonna I was gonna finally put a couple of things to bed um, this is the old Toro parts machine that I've had for a while this engine has a broken bolt it's it's a uh, it's from another mower that I took this engine on to, to put on another mower that's been sold you know so this engine while it works this is the one that has the bad primer base and it won't prime, you know, and also has a broken bolt in one of the three mounting bolts here. It's broken, but I think it's secure on here with two bolts. Uh, so this engine works. I know it does. It just doesn't prime. So I'm going to eventually need a primer plate for this. This is a Lawn Boy, <laughs> five horsepower, you know, the old landscaper type with the offset wheels. My friend Robert Nighthawk actually wants it, so I've been saving this in my backyard for him until he gets around to driving up from uh, Maryland to go see his uh, brother-in-law in New Hampshire, and then on the way back down, he was going to stop by, and I was going to give him this. But then I asked him, I said, hey, can I use the engine, or do you need the engine, right? He's like, no, I got plenty of quantum engines. Go ahead, take the engine. Just keep the cover. 
Actually, if you look at this thing, right, is it just the cover? Does this cover even come off of this uh, Quantum? Because it looks like it's stuck on there, you know? Uh, anyway, oil is at level, but it's black, and there's absolutely no gas in here. Uh, I got this from my friend uh, Mike over at Mike's Lawn Service Babylon. He brought it to me, and I'm like, eh. But it is the magnesium deck, I believe. Uh, there's no rust on it whatsoever, and everything seems to be in order. It just, it has a short pull rope. Cable seems to work, but look, it's short. That's it. You can't pull it any more than that. And it doesn't seem like there's any compression, actually. I mean, there's some resistance, but it just doesn't, you can't hear the, you know, it's just like smooth. So I don't hear any compression, even though there is, I do feel like it, there's something. So I'm going to put some gas in here. Let's just see if this engine works before I go through all the trouble of taking the engine off and, and putting it on this. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because these are the two last push mowers I have. I don't have any more. I mean, I have fixed ones that are for sale, but that need attention, you know, to get it out of my yard. These are the only two left. Like I said, I, I know this engine works, but it's going to need a primer cover. This is actually not gonna do because this is actually an auto choke. There's no primer bulb, so I can't use that backing anyway. Well, maybe I could. I'll look through it and see if it is. Let's take this cover off that was bent down and blow some carb choke spray in here. See if this thing will run. Look at that this plate is actually metal and it doesn't have the primer channel so I can't use this for that so it looks like we're gonna have to check this out and the choke plate the choke uh, flap is closed hmm. okay so there's a throttle throttle lever there and it has a when you push it all the way up choke closes when you pull it down a little bit it opens so now it's open I have a straw for this let's see if it starts let's choke it again Ooh, now it sounds good Ooh. Hey. I have a feeling this thing might work we put some gas in it Okay, I just put some gas in it. Can you believe that? Just put gas in it, runs great. Hmm, maybe I won't give it to Robert Nighthawk. Maybe I'll keep it, huh? And sell it. No, I don't want it. Maybe I'll use it to mow my lawn though. Let's see if this starts. Vibrates, wheel falls off. Beautiful. And then there's this. This is a Toro Recycler with a Quantum engine on it. It's the same body, body style as the one that has the Tecumseh engine usually, but this one is a Quantum engine. I believe I got this running, and uh, this is the one that has the rusted pulley on the bottom, and uh, there's 
the cable is broken for this one. So what did I do? That's right. I dug down deep. You guys know how cheap I am. I actually went and spent $9 on eBay for this. With tax, it was like about $10. So this is the cable for this, uh, this particular Toro. I have the cover for it, and I'm just gonna put this on, see if the self propulsion works, and then clean it up, and list it for sale. So I'm putting on this new cable, and the old cable is here. Can you see here? This uh, Z-Bend is a little bit thicker than the stock one. So this doesn't fit in the hole here. It's a little bit too, uh, the, it, the hole is too small. So I'm gonna have to drill this hole a little bit bigger. There we go. Now it's snug. So, I think I got it worked out. Right? Loosen, tighten. Loosen, tighten. Let's try it out. Okay, I just primed it. There's a primer. Cover on, I'm gonna wipe this down. So this didn't clean up as good as I thought it would. Uh, there was a lot of mold on the bag and just some scrubbing and stuff got the mold off but the bag still looks like hell. Um, this has a uh, cut here, it's got rust spots and uh, you know I'm not going to get as much money as I thought I was going to get for it. But while the self propulsion works and everything else runs just fine, uh, it still doesn't look like I could get 175 for it or anything like that. So I'll list it for like 165 and take as much as 125 you know what I mean? Got to get at least 125 self propelled and with a bag, right? It is the older version recycler model, but if I can get 125 out of it, it'll be just fine. As for this, <laughs> this seems to run just absolutely perfect, you know? Uh, it's pretty nice actually and I'm just gonna keep the engine on here uh, for my friend uh, Robert Nighthawk because it looks like this top part is molded to the way it is you know so um, if I took the engine he wouldn't have that I mean he would but he would have to find a square square version of it you know what I mean the top cover so I'll just leave it the way it is I don't really need it right now I do have a spare engine right here albeit needs a um, air cleaner base that has the good channels for the primer circuit um, and I do have to drill out the broken bolt in there but uh, this deck is it's okay but it's not great I fixed the wheels so that the wheels won't fall off anymore by taking these off uh, these were acting like spacers so 
once you took them off, you could tighten the bolt on there really tight and it wouldn't come off. So just leave it the way it is. Uh, I guess I'll just use this for parts or something like that. Um, it wouldn't be worth it for me to just sell this for 20 bucks because the gas tank you can get 25 for. Quantum mentioned gas tank on eBay. You can get it easily 25, 30 bucks, you know. Uh, so I could I could still use this for something it has uh, Decent rear wheels, you know, I'll run into another recycler someday and I'll use the handle or whatever and all that stuff So I'll just park it in the back and just keep it as a parts mower uh, Waiting for Robert to come and pick this up You better give me something good Robert because this is a perfectly good magnesium deck running machine man You better give me something good Because I could probably get a hundred bucks out of this locally <laughs> uh, And I've got that listed now for 165 we'll see if we can get a hundred and twenty five out of it uh, for now to conclude this video My lawn is growing really fast. I mean, I just mowed my lawn like five days ago Looks like it needs it again front and back. I'm gonna use Robert Nighthawk's mower to mow uh, I've actually never mowed a lawn with one of these things before I want to see what the hoopla is about about the offset wheels and stuff and how well it cuts this thing has a uh, six blades it's really three, but you know what I mean? Like that. So I'm gonna mow the front and rear yard and see how it does. So uh, I took the bagger off because my lawn's pretty high. And uh, problem is it doesn't have a mulch cover. So I'm just gonna shove this old white container into the hole. gonna blow right out you know, so <laughs> to stop the grass from flying out but uh, we'll see how it goes
So it took me kind of a long time because it's only a 20 inch. That uh, offset wheel on the right, it really bothers me because that wheel gets in the way. So I don't like it at all. While it cut pretty well, it was on almost the highest setting because my grass was really long. Um, yeah, that's how you say it in Long Island, long. Um, it still did a pretty good job. The engine's very strong. Uh, good RPMs throughout. Never hesitated one bit, even in the uh, clumpy, heavy areas, right? Engine is sound. You're gonna need an oil change, Robert. I'm not doing that for you. You're lucky you're getting the engine with it, too. It's ready to go. Uh, anyway, uh, it's in the backyard. It'll sit there until you come and get it. I may use it to mow my lawn again next week if you're not here by then. Uh, Bagger's here. I didn't use it at all. And, uh, you know, it was. Decent mower. I mean considering the fact that I didn't do anything to it other than start it. You know what I mean runs really well I just don't like that offset wheel that gets in the way of the curb and stuff I hit the curb so many times with that wheel, you know and uh, Well because that wheel is there you're gonna have like a two inch area It's not gonna cut grass. You know what I mean? So that I don't like but I get why people like it like the landscapers and stuff It's small compact easy to turn and stuff. It's kind of heavy to be honest with you and uh what a workout for me because, you know, I'm not used to just pushing stuff all day, you know. I haven't taken out my uh, zero turn yet because my lawn right now looks good. Every time I whip out those heavy riding mowers, it compacts my soil, you know, and it kind of makes it dead. So I think I might just use a push mower from now on just to see if my lawn lasts this well. It's never looked this good in like two, three years, you know. Anyway, thanks for following me along my three episode, <laughs> my three day episode, if you will of getting shit done, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm done. I don't have any more push mowers to fix. What a relief. I'm gonna take a few days off. Uh, I'm already eight episodes ahead, so don't worry, you guys won't miss anything, but I'll be able to take it easy for a few days because I'm ahead. Thanks a lot for joining me, fellas. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Mowers! Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.